All right, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to solve this problem here. This is a, a time of local apparent noon, all right? So in this problem, you know, uh, you know, it's 9.20 in the morning, and we're trying to figure out, well, when is local apparent noon going to happen later on in the day? Um, so uh, we'll be figuring all that out here in just a little bit. Um, so uh, let me just first collect. Uh, we're going to do this by two different methods, by the way. Both of them use the nautical almanac. Uh, one method, uh, we're going to uh, have to um, uh, uh, keep track of our uh, time, our arc dif difference from our central meridian and apply arc to time, subtracting if we're east, adding if we're west of our central meridian. Some people find that to be difficult to do. So I'm going to show you another method, which is called the GHA method, um, where uh, you always, uh, there's, there's, you don't have to think about that. It takes care of itself, okay? So, but for either method, we're going to collect some information first. So it's 31 January. The body is the sun, and it's the lower limb of the sun. Uh, let's see, the latitude that we're starting off at, uh, let's see, is 24, 16 south. And the longitude that we're starting off at is 151, 33.0 east. Uh, we're, we're starting off at a zone time of 0920, all right? And then our course uh, given is 258 true. And our speed is 18.5 knots, okay? So um, this zone time here, uh, that's, uh, that's where the that's time the problem's starting. But really, we're being asked to find out what time LEN is going to happen in the afternoon. And to do that, we're going to need to first take a look at something called Meridian Passage. Okay, so for uh, I'm going to I'm just going to call this first method. I'm going to call it the uh, almanac method, for lack of a better name, almanac method. Almanac method. All right, and what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, one we're going to look up the time of Meridian Passage. Okay, and then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to advance to that time. advance the time of Meridian Passage, all right? And then uh, what, the third thing we're going to do is we're going to take the longitude, okay? Uh, and uh, we will convert the longitude from step two to uh, from arc to time, okay? Uh, and apply... to our central, uh, to our meridian passage time, okay? And the meridian passage time will be at our central meridian, to meridian passage, okay? Great. Uh, when we do this method, uh, you know, if we're east of our central meridian, you're going to have to subtract it. And if you're west of our central meridian, you're going to have to add that at that time. But we'll get to that in just a minute. Okay. First thing we're going to do, let's look up time of meridian passage, okay? So uh, to do that, we're going to go to uh, the, uh, the January 31st, all right? And we're going to go down to this corner down here, okay? So this is, the, this is the, uh, the, the corner we're interested in. So here it is down here. And here's the 31st, and the time of Meridian Passage is 1214, okay? So 1214 is the time of Meridian Passage. Now, that is the time of Meridian Passage on every central meridian on the planet on, on uh, uh, 1214 including our central meridian and since we're at like 151 east our central meridian will be about 150 will, will be 150 east so now what we're going to do is step two okay and step two is we're going to advance uh uh to the time of meridian passage so meridian passage is 12 14 and our original time when the problem started was 09 20. so if i do that math i should come out with two hours and 54 minutes okay and i'm making uh, at 18.6, uh, 18.5 knots. All right. <clears throat> so now I got to figure out how many miles that is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert uh, uh, two hours, 54 minutes to uh, hours, decimal hours. So I'll take 54 minutes. I'll divide that by 60. That is 0.9. So it's uh, 2.9 hours. Now I'm going to add two to make it 2.9. Now I'm going to multiply that times 18.5. And that gives me 53.65 miles. 2.9 times 18.5 equals 53.7. We're going to go round up. 53.7 nautical miles. That's how far I would, I'll advance. 
53.7 nautical miles. Okay, great. Now, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do, uh, we're going to plot the, uh, this advance. Okay, so I actually have already prepared this plotting sheet. Uh, we're in the southern hemisphere, so, uh, and uh, we're, we're around 24. So this is 24, this is 25, because, you know, they get greater going down in the southern hemisphere. Uh, we're in the eastern hemisphere, so here's 151, here's 150. By the way, 150 is our central meridian. And I went ahead and I plotted the 0920 uh, 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 DR, which was 2416 by 151.33. And then uh, that line is 258, and I plotted uh, 57 mile, uh, 54 miles on there. And, and then I get my longitude. So to get my longitude now, I'm just going to, you know, put my pencil on that spot. And I'm going to come over here. And it looks to me like that's pretty well perpendicular. Boom. Looks to me like my, um, my longitude here uh, at 1214 is going to be 150, 50, 35 east. Okay. And I'm gonna, now I'm going to need to do some arc to time stuff with that. Okay. Uh, or I can do the GHA method, um, or I can, all right, so anyway, but uh, that, that's where I am now. So if I was to do, um, uh, uh, let's go back here. So great. So we're going to continue on with this almanac method. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is, is I've got to take that one, so my longitude, okay, at 1214 is... 150.35 east, all right? So, uh, and, and so, if we look at this here, all right, here's my central meridian, all right? My, my, the time of LEN on this central meridian today is 1214, okay? But uh, what I want to know is when LEN is going to happen here at 150.35 east. Well, the sun is going to be coming from the east towards the west, so that means it's going to pass over this meridian, 150.35, okay, and I could just sort of put that in there, okay? It's going to pass over this meridian before it passes over the central meridian. So that means that uh, I'm going to be some number of minutes earlier than 12.14, all right? So, and what I'm going to have to do now is take this time difference, the time difference of 150 and 150.35, okay, the arc distance. So I've got 150.35. That's my that's my dr, and I've got one fifty zero zero. That's my central meridian, and the arc difference between those is thirty five minutes. Okay, so great. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go to arc of time. I'm going to convert that thirty five minutes. I happen to know that's going to be about two minutes uh, already. But uh, so here's the arc of time page in the back of the book. Okay. And what I need now is I need it for 35, uh, uh, 35 um, minutes of arc. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. And here we go. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to use this column over here for minutes. And I'm going to scroll down to 35. And here is 35 right here. And it's 2 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm just going to call that uh, 2 minutes. Great. So uh, now let me hold on to that thought for a second. 35 minutes is 2 minutes, 20 seconds, which is basically 2 minutes. So what that means, if we go back to this picture, is, is that the sun will be on this longitude about 2 minutes earlier than here. Okay? So, uh, so, um, so that's going to be about 12-12. So let's go back and we'll do this mathematically. So um, here we go. Uh, I have 12-14. All right, that is my central meridian, and 35 minutes of arc is two minutes of time. Because of based on this picture, I'm east of my central meridian, I have to subtract, and that gives me a time of 1212, and that is the approximate time of LEN using the almanac method. All right, now uh, some people find it difficult to uh, kind of remember if I'm east, I'm going to subtract, if I'm west, I'm going to add. So I'm going to show you another method now using the GHA method. So let me write out the steps for the GHA method, all right? So I'll just start that up here, GHA method. Now this method should give us about the same answer as the almanac method, and it starts out the same. I'm gonna start by looking up the meridian passage for my day on my daily page, and then two is I'm gonna to advance to that time. 
Okay, but now here is where it's going to change. Okay, step three is I'm going to convert. Okay, uh, my in this step here, I took my longitude and I converted it to arc to time. But in this one, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert my longitude, my uh, dr longitude, uh, to gha, and we're going to do that by subtracting it from 360. Okay. Uh, and then after we do that, then, uh, then I'm going to go into the almanac on the daily page for that day. And I'm going to choose the GHA from the tables with, with, that is the next lower than the GHA from step three. Okay. Uh, and that'll make more sense as we do that. Um, and then uh, I'm going to have to then convert the arc distance to time, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that there uh, in just a second. Okay, so let's, uh, so this step one, we already looked that up. It was 1214. That's the same thing. Uh, step two, and when we advance, we're going to end up with our uh, longitude. Uh, well, we, we do the same advance, so it's all those miles. Great. And so we come up with a longitude of 150. 35 east okay so that was the same method that we did over here in the other in, in the other way but now is when we're going to start to separate so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to convert this 150 35 east to gha now if it was west that already would be gha okay because gha is west from um from the prime meridian so uh, west longitude is also equal to the GHA value, but east longitude, I have to subtract from 360. So I'm going to go 360 minus 150.35. Well, that's really 360.00. So another way I could have written that would be 359.60 and 150.35. So now when I do this here, so 35 from 60, that's 25. And uh, that's nine uh, two zero nine twenty five. So what that is is that is the GHA equivalent of one fifty thirty five. Okay. So if I had the uh, the prime meridian here, uh, one fifty thirty five is this direction, one fifty thirty five east. Okay. But if I went west around to there, that would be two two o nine. 25, okay, of GHA, which would be the equivalent of 150.35 east. Two different ways of, of expressing this same uh, line, the same meridian. Now, why did I do that? Well, I did that because um, it turns out that if I go to the nautical almanac, uh, I can figure out, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what time the sun is on this line. Because what, uh, when I'm on this line, if the sun's on this line, that's meridian transit. So I'm trying to figure, figure out when that's going to be. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the nautical almanac the other way. I'm going to have this GHA, and I'm going to try to figure out what time that is. So for that, we're going to go to uh, January 31st, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to look for a GHA that is close to 209, but just slightly under. So here we go, uh, 206.38.4, that's a little bit less than 209. 221, that's a little bit more. So what I'm going to do now is, is that, uh, that I know that the sun was at 206.38.4 at 0200. So that's not too far. Uh, the 209 is a little bit further west, so it's going to be a little bit later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 0200. Okay, this is the uh, GHA of LAN, of what I think LAN is going to happen. But I know that the, that the, um, at 0200, the GHA of the sun is actually at 206, 38.4. That's the GHA at 0200, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some subtraction there. So um, uh, let me just rewrite this. So I'm going to take one from here and put it to there. So that becomes 208.85. That's the same as 209.25. Now I'm subtract 206.38.4. When I subtract 38.4 from 85, I get 46.6, okay? And, and this is 2 degrees. So 2 degrees, 46.6 minutes. So it turns out that at 0200, the sun is here, 
And if it goes two degrees, 46 more minutes, the sun will be there. So now I know that the sun was here at 0200. How long, how much longer after 200 is going to take to go two degrees, 46.6 minutes. So that is now arc time. So here's what I'm going to do. GMT, 0200. The sun was at 206, 38.4. Now, uh, the sun's got to go an additional two degrees. So I'm going to put uh, two degrees here and I'm going to figure out the arc to time because this is my time column. This is my arc column. And then uh, for uh, 46.6 minutes, how much time is that? Okay. And if I was to add all those up, I'd get 209.25, which is the GHA that I want. So now I got to go to arc to time. So I'll come here, I go to arc to time. Here's the arc to time page. Let me zoom in a little bit. So uh, two degrees is eight minutes. So two degrees is eight minutes of time and 46. So let's scroll over here a little bit. That's actually 46 is three quarters of one degree. So it should be about three minutes. But I go down here to 46, 304, three is close enough, three. So eight and three is 11, 02, great. So at 0211, okay, on, Ju on uh, Ju January 31st, the sun will be at 209.25 GHA, which is the same as 150.35 east, which should be my longitude. So that'll be meridian passage because we'll be on the same longitude. We'll be on the same meridian. Great. So now here's one last little thing. What time is this? This is, if we go back here, okay, at 0200, the sun was at 206. At 0300, it's at 221. 209 is between those closer to 0200. This is all time in GMT. The last step, this is GMT time, is I've got to convert it to local time. Okay. And for that, I need my zone description. So, uh, 151, that is minus 10. Okay. But for the convention here that we're using, minus 10 is to go from local to GMT. Now I'm going from GMT to local. So I have to reverse that. So this becomes plus 10 and that gives me 1211. So at 1211, the sun's GHA will be 209.25, which corresponds to 150.35 east. That's going to be meridian transit for me because that's where I'm going to be at 1211.